Hi, I'm Sammy, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to open any master combination lock by trying only 8 combinations or less using a technique I've developed. If you want more details, in the next video I'll thoroughly explain how each piece works, I'll drill open a combo lock so we can see how it works inside, and I'll also give you instructions on how to build a robotic device that can crack these locks in no time. Uh, so let's get started. So first you'll want to browse to sammy.pl slash master. That's samy.pl slash master. And here's the tool that I've developed that'll make breaking this master combination lock much easier. Once you're at the website, we'll take our combo lock and we'll turn the dial to zero. Once we're at zero, we're going to take the shackle and we're going to lift it up. I use my index finger to lift it up as hard as I can. And then I start turning the dial counterclockwise towards the number five you'll quickly find that you get stuck inside of a groove where you can't actually turn left or right any further while you're holding the shackle up. So let's look at that number. I'm stuck between the whole numbers two and three. If you're stuck between a whole number two and three or, or any other whole numbers, we're gonna ignore that, release the shackle a little bit and then turn the dial some more. Then lift the shackle and then find the next groove where we get locked in. So now I'm locked into an interesting groove. So this is between 5.5 and 6.5. It's interesting because I'm actually crossing over a number, a full number here. And that's the number we're gonna enter on the website. So here I cross over six. So we'll enter six on the website. And then I'll release the shackle a little bit so I can get out of that groove, move over a few digits and then lock up again. Uh, I got stuck in the last one, so let's do it again. All right, so now I'm getting stuck between about 8.5 and 9.5. So I'm crossing over nine. So the second lock position is nine. Again, we only want the first two positions between zero and 10 or 11 that we get locked into. Um, now we're gonna look for a resistant location. So we can release the shackle and we are gonna pull the shackle up a little bit, but not so much that we get locked like this. We're only gonna pull it up about halfway. Now that allows us to actually still move the shackle, or I'm sorry, the dial freely around. Um, you'll wanna lift the shackle enough so that you can move the dial, but only feel resistance about once per revolution. So I feel resistance about once per revolution, and it should always be around the same place. So if you see this, I'm hitting, I'm typically hitting resistance around 14.5. So we'll write that is the resistant location on the website, 14.5. You can use either whole numbers or half numbers. So if you're hitting like a 0.5, that's fine. If you're hitting a whole number like 15, then you can type 15. So now we hit find combos on the website. And when we hit find combos, uh, we'll actually learn the first digit is 20. So we've already learned the first digit. We'll learn the third digit is possibly 16 or 36. It's one of those two. So let's actually figure out which one it is. The way we do this is we'll turn the uh, the dial a couple times and we'll take the first possibility, which is 16, and then hold the shackle up. Again, we're gonna get into that locked position. So hold the shackle up and we wanna see how much give we have between 16 versus 36. Whichever one provides more give is the correct third digit. So this one gives more than a digit of give. That's always a good sign. So it's about 15.5 to maybe 16.8. So now we'll release the shackle and then we'll go up to 36. We'll pull up the shackle, get locked. And this is about 35 point, let's call it 35.2 to 36.2. So that's only about one. So that's actually less. So the third digit should be 16. So let's click 16 on the website. And once you click that, we now know the third digit is 16 and the second digits are reduced even further. Now let's try the possible combinations that we see on the website. So we know the first digit is 20 and we know the last digit is 16 and we only have eight second digits to try. So let's first try 20 to 16. So we'll go to 20, uh, always pass the first number once, then we'll go to two, and then 16, nope. So we'll try 26, 16. 26, 
16. Nope. So let's try 20, 10, 16. 20, 10, 16. Nope. Let's try 20, 22, 16. 20, 22. And that worked. So that was our fourth try. There are only four numbers left, 26, 30, 34, 38. So now we know our combination is 20, 22, 16. If you want to learn more details about how this combo reduction works or see the automated device I've created, click this next video. And if you'd like to get more sneak peek videos and first looks at the hacking tools I'm creating and research I'm doing, please join my mailing list. You can subscribe from my website at sammy.pl. Thanks. Bye.